Welcome back YouTube, Dakota Fred here, coming to you with a Farming Simulator 2015 video on the Xbox One. My last video I done how to get money quick on the Xbox One. Um, if you want to go check that out, um, just go to my other YouTube video. I just made it about two or three days ago. I really appreciate that. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the new DLC that came out on the Xbox One, PS4, and on the PC. Um, it's called the uh, Farming Simulator Gold Edition on the three platforms. Now on the PS3 and the Xbox 360, it actually came out as the Silver Edition. It did not come out with this map, but it came out with all of the equipment that I'm going to show you all here today. Uh, I do not own the game on anything except the Xbox One. Um, the PC, you know, you can get mods and other things like that, but on the Xbox One, as most of you all know, you cannot get any of the mods. Uh, I'm here with Static Marine. He uh, helped me out quite a bit on this video. He helped me out reset all the stuff that I was buying. And he was here to help me out to make sure that I got everything I needed for this video. And I really appreciate him being here with me today. Now, the first thing that I want to go through here with you all today is the four tractors. Um, you, have the, you have these four tractors right here. And I'm actually going to go in here and show you all all what they do and how much power they have and my opinions on them. They're my opinions. So you can take them for what they're worth. But... Here they are. The first tractor here is the Zeter Crystal 1245. Well, I just accidentally bought another one, but uh, it's got a 121 horsepower. Will go 19 miles per hour. Um, it's not a very powerful tractor. You cannot put anything on the front of it. You cannot. It's just a base tractor, but uh, it's in the game. Uh, I think you might be able to put a weight on it, but you can't put any loader, frame loaders, or anything like that on it. The Major 80, the Zeter, is 75 horsepower, and you can put a front loader on that, so if you wanted to uh, do that, it is an optional, it is there, and uh, it goes 26 miles per hour, so it will keep up with most of the other tractors in the game. Next, you have the Proxima Power 120. It is $98,000. It's 117 horsepower. Uh, in my opinion, I'm owning both of them. I have used both of them, and there's not that much of a difference in the two. I've pulled the same stuff with both of them, and I haven't seen enough difference for the extra... Uh, $40,000 but it's in the game it's there if you want to try it more than more than more than welcome to give it a whirl we also got the Forterra 150 HD it's $136,000 um, I actually own two of them right now and I have been using the fertilizer spreader for that and I really enjoy that tractor it's the most powerful one in the game um, uh, most powerful one in the DLC I should say definitely not in the game but in the DLC I really like this tractor um, I've, I've used it for quite a different uh, applications I really like the really like the tractor. Next, I want to go over here and I want to show you all the different harvesters and forage tractor that came with it here. The forage harvester. You got uh, these three right here. And we'll go ahead and show you the implements. You got the corn header here. Um, you have the smaller combine header there. You have a thing to cut the grass. You have the or to cut the canola and barley. And then you come over here and here's the bigger header that came in the DLC. And right here is the grass cutter that cuts the grass for you. And over here you have the thing that picks up the grass. Now I want to show you all what the stats are on these and show you all what I think about them. Um, right here I'm going to go over here to Harvesters and I want to show you all the Acros 595 Plus. It's $189,000. It's 325 horsepower. holds 9,000. This is the one that will hook up to the smaller header, but you can't hook up either header to it. But the horsepower kind of keeps you from doing quite a bit of different applications with this combine. The Torum 760 is a big jump in price, $362,000. It's 490 horsepower. The capacity on it is 12,000, and it goes with the bigger header. But here is a rule of thumb right here that I have found that really works for this combine, is you can hook up the 45-foot Case International header to this combine and it will work just fine. The uh, auger arm will come out far enough where you can hit any of the tippers. You will not have any problem with that. You can pull it with a semi, whatever timber, tipper that you have, this thing will reach it and you will have no problem with the header sticking out too far. Um, this is the one that I'm using right now on this map since it came out on the DLC. I'm not using any of the Case Internationals or the Case, or Case International or the New Holland. Um, and I'm using the Case International 45 foot header with them. I'm not using the header that came in the DLC. Now right here is the forage harvester. It's the RSM 1403. It's $229,000. Um, I've used it. I'm not a big fan of it. It's 442 horsepower when the big crone, the big X1100 is 1,034 horsepower and you can definitely tell it. The turn radius is bigger, 
better on the Big X 1100. Uh, I just I'd rather use the Chrome. Um, I've used the RSM. Not a real big fan of it. Like I said, uh, the Big X 1100 does me a lot more good. A lot more good. Really enjoy using it, um, and, it and it has no problem doing anything in the game. Um, the new Holland one is pretty good too. I've used it in my Bajoran home map and I don't have any problem with this. This one here is just a little underpowered in my opinion. Um, next I want to go over here and do some of the attachments. First of all I will start off with this plow and I will show you the range of this plow here. It is 1.9 meters. Not, not very big at all actually. I think it's the smallest one in the game. Uh, it only takes 92 horsepower to pull it, so I guess if you're just starting out, you know, or you just want to use it because it's in the DLC, it's there, you can use it. I've tried it out, you know, I didn't like it personally, but it's there, um, you know, when you compare it to the 300 horsepower, the 6 meter one, or, you know, you even go to the smallest one, the Coon Vera Master, you know, that one even does 2 meters. It takes 100 horsepower, 6 more horsepower, but, you know, I, I just I just can't I just can't use something 1.9 meters you know but it's all on opinion um, it's there it's in the game you can use it um, right over here I want to go now to the cedars um, you have this cedar here and you have this cedar here I will go over here to them and I will show them to you um, right here you have the DL, it's $9,000, it's only 3 meters, the same as the very first one that came out with the game, it's only 3 meters, also the one that you start off with, if you go to Bajoran on maps like that, you will start off with it. Um, it is, it holds 750, it takes 75 horsepower to pull it, it's only 3, three meters working with, and then you go to the Optima 5. It is the capacity of it is 600, and it is takes 70 horsepower to pull it, and the working width is 3.8 meters, a little bit bigger. I'll show you the two different ones. Now note that the Optima 5 only plants the corn and the sugar beets, and the DO will not plant the corn and sugar beets. That's the two differences in them two. Then I want to come over here and I want to show you the new um, the new tipper, which is right there, and the new manure spreader. Both of these two are both from FarmTech, and the first one is the TDK 1600. It is holds 15,000. It will hold anything in the game, any kind of fruit type. It will hold potatoes, sugar beets. It will hold um, your wood chips, your silage. It will hold anything in the game. Um, it holds 15,000. Not too bad, but you know when you compare it to some of the bigger ones, you see here 59,000. You know 55, 47, 46. Not that big, but it's you know it's actually pretty nice to start off with. Um, now I'll go over here to the manure spreader. Uh, well, I'm gonna find it here. Fertilizer. There it is. And it's the FarmTech Fortis 2000. It's working with is 15 meters. Now you do have to use the hook lift for this. This is actually considered a container, so you would have to have the IT runner in order to pick this one up. And to be honest with you. I'm thinking this might have come in the IT Runner DLC, but I'm not 100% sure. But if it did, y'all can write down in the comments and correct me on that. But it's here. It's in the game. It holds 24,000. It's 15 meters. Um, you have to use the IT Runner hook lift to, to pick it up. And I want to show y'all my favorite thing that came in the DLC, and it is the new truck. The first truck I want to show y'all that came out, I want to compare these two since there's only two of them, is the TGS 14.440. It is a single axle in the back and it is $420 a day maintenance and it is 440 horsepower. Now I do not own any of these on this map. I own, I use all the new DLC truck on this one. I own like four or five of them on this map and the maintenance is a little bit more on the newer one. All right, it's four hundred and forty dollars a day, four hundred and sixty-two horsepower. So it's got more horsepower, and it's a little more than half the price. You know, one hundred sixty-five thousand, two hundred eighty-five thousand, but it's twenty dollars more per day in maintenance, which would take a very long time to catch back up. And I will do want to note that you can pull anything with the back of it because it does have a hitch on the back so you can pull you know your tipper you can pull IT runner you can pull pretty much anything you want but it does not have a PTO shaft so you will not be able to turn anything on 
but it is a pretty nice feature because you can pull it. I do want to note that this is a tandem axle trailer, so it does have a little bit better uh, stability um, whenever you're using it. So it, it's pretty nice. I really like it. Um, I like it more than the one that came out. That's probably my, my most favorite thing that came out on this DLC. All right, here I do want to show y'all the very last thing on this video is I want to show y'all the new fertilizer spreader and the new fertilizer spreader is the exacta el 700 it is forty five hundred dollars the working width is 12 meters and it holds 700 my opinion i really use the amazon gb zgb 8200 is forty eight thousand dollars a lot more money but it is 26 meters working width and it does hold 8200 but this is a very good one to start off with um i used it when i started off on the map just to try it out you know I tried all the equipment out whenever I got it I wanted to try it see how it was you know I, I used it and it's definitely not bad to start off with um, but that's that's all the equipment in this video and I do want to show you a few more things about the map um, right here is the seeds that you pick up um, for your planters and this right here is where you go under here and you uh, get your fertilizer uh, right here is where you dump all of your grain. Um, these are your silos back over here. That's where you store it all until it goes on high demand. You can get a little bit more for it. And there is only one spot for the ATM machine on this map. It's at the far top left. If you can see the dollar sign on that map, that is the only place on the map where you can get money. I know on Westbridge Hills, there's a couple of places you can get your um, get go to get money out of the ATM or put your money back. How you know whatever you need to do. Um, but Jornholm, I think, has one or two extra places. There's like two or three on that map. But this map only has one. Not a bad thing. You know, I don't really use it. I use it at the very beginning. Take out my loan, go back, pay it off, and, you know, go on. I don't really... That's about the only time I ever go there. Um, it does have a lot of refueling stations. Um, you know, there's one at every... Pretty much every fourth of the map. You know, everywhere. It's pretty spaced out. Um, I do want to mention one other thing. You can sell wood chips at the transport company, garden center, and the biomass heating plant. Although the biomass heating plant will always sell it higher, even when it goes on demand, it will be twice, almost twice as much as at the transport company and the garden center. So I would, you know, I always sell all of my stuff at the biomass heating plant. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, leave your comments in the section. Um, thank, thanks for watching this video for today. This is Dakota Frazier. Hit that like and subscribe button. And